There are a lot of things happening for Elite Flyers this year. First off, United and Delta started implementing revenue requirements. So this year, not only do you have to fly, but you have to spend a certain amount on ticketed flights with those airlines. A lot of the partner ticketed flights won't count, and we've written uh, extensively about what will and what won't count. Uh, so TPG reader Kyle tweeted me, I'm a United 1K, San Francisco's home. Too many 1Ks in San Francisco means I miss too many upgrades. Does it make sense to switch airlines? Now, being a United Airlines flyer, I think there's a bunch of different considerations to take into account. I uh, suspect starting February 1st of next year when uh, the current elite status runs out and uh, you know people will have had to requalify and spend that $10,000 on the United uh, Premier qualifying dollars, I suspect that the ranks of one case will drop potentially dramatically. Now I know a lot of you know high premium flyers in the San Francisco market, so it may not be as much as other markets, but uh, you may notice an, an increase in uh, upgrades next year. The second thing to take into account is what routes you fly. Now you can switch to Virgin America, but you're going to be really limited if you're flying. Uh, you know, and you really value non-stops to uh, smaller markets that United serves, you're going to be out of luck switching to a small carrier like Virgin America. Uh, same thing with American, but you know, you have to also take into account not just where the other carriers fly, but where their partners fly. So American teams up with Alaska Airlines, if you do a lot within the Northwest, that could be a really uh, smart choice. I do personally feel that the best top tier elite status is American Airlines Executive Platinum. Um, I, I think that the miles are worth a lot. You know, after United's uh, big devaluation February 1st, if you like flying first class on partners, you really get penalized. Not so with American Airlines. Now, that could change with their merger. There's still a lot of changes to be announced um, with how their new elite program will work. So what I would recommend is hang tight. So, you know, uh, continue requalifying this year. Make sure you hit the premier qualifying dollars because that is not exempted for those who spend on United credit cards. Unlike Delta, which exempts all elite tiers if you spend 25,000 on the co-branding card, United does not allow 1Ks to get exempted from the rules. You've got to spend 10K on those premier qualifying, dire, fly, or premier qualifying dollars or fly and also fly the necessary amount. So I'd hang out until February 1st of next year, see if those upgrades improve. Let's see how things shake out with the American Airlines merger and then make a decision from there. Any other questions, tweet me at the points guy. Make sure you like us on facebook.com.